Omega One, which is located some 270 kilometers east of Rundu, is mainly home to Sun speaking people and other ethnic groups. The water problem started when two of the three boreholes which supply water to the village dried up more than eight months ago. Villagers say the water situation have turned into the survival of the fittest as the residents fight and scramble for water at points, resulting in several common assault cases being opened with the police. The villagers have introduced a water rationing system where each household is only allowed to fill two 20 liters container of water a day. The water is supplied at certain intervals three times a week. We are faced with a serious water crisis. This water tank is too small and is unable to cater for both human and animal consumption for the whole village. To make matters worse, each household is only allowed to fetch water in two containers per day, which is not even sufficient as most people around here have very big families. Each and every day, people used to have physical fights here. Even yesterday, there were people who were fighting here and a case has already been opened with the police. People are fighting for survival here. We really need the government to come to our rescue. Majority of these villages are unemployed and we are unable to pay for water services with NAM water. Although Omega is located within the boundaries of the National Park, we are allowed to coexist with wildlife. Here we have a police station, a clinic, a school, and other government departments. There is a need for government to drill and install more boreholes in various parts of Omega, which will be able to supply water to all the residents that live here. Since January, we were purely dependent on rainwater, which we used to harvest. What is happening now is that our kids are going to school the whole week without taking a bath. These boreholes are not that badly damaged. They just require minor maintenance, and then they will fully function again. Some villagers complained of having to travel long distances to reach the water points, and yet they come back empty-handed as the water tanks get empty, while they are still in long queues waiting to be saved. They indicated that they have reported the matter to the relevant authority, but nothing has been done to address the water crisis.